Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day, and over this weekend I played some Fallout 76 beta. And I know a lot of people are putting their own opinion into the game, so I figured I'd put mine in as well. So, I really enjoyed this beta, and it was super fun even though I didn't have anyone to play with at all. Which means, I mean, if anything, it's a good thing, because playing with no one and still being able to enjoy a game you know, that's meant to be played with people means it's gotta be a lot of fun. And I'm super excited to start being able to play with some of my friends when they get their hands on it. But, I want to go into some of the things that I really enjoyed about it. Obviously, first off, right off the bat, you go into the character customization screen. And, that's a great screen. Uh, they did just as much character customization as there's been in the last Fallout, and it is great. You can pretty much change everything about your person with your mouse and sculpt their face. So, I really enjoy that, and I like the big amount of character customization in the game. Um... And then the quest line, actually, I went through it for probably about like six hours, I'd say. I tried to go through the quest, and I was really enjoying it, even though there was a couple things that I didn't like that I'll get back to, but I did really enjoy the quest, and it did still feel very Fallout, the quest line, um, which was one of my concerns about the game, and I'm glad that I enjoyed it. So, um, some of the other things that I really liked was the event system in the game. Um, it was... Um, really a ton of fun to do them. Uh, a lot of people would get around and you'd go and fight different things or do waves or have to put something back together because the reactor went down was one of them too. There's a whole bunch of them. Some of them were more complicated than others, obviously, um, but they were all a ton of fun and also they're a really good way to get around the map because you can always teleport to event. Doesn't mean that you actually have to do the event, but it was a good way to get from the top of the map to the bottom of the map if you haven't done that before. So, if you're thinking about playing, uh, just to put that out there for you guys. Um, and then other great things about the game was the perk and levi leveling system. Um, to be honest, I didn't really find it too terribly hard to level up. Uh, again, I only played for about like 8 hours, and I managed to get all the way up to level 10, which I think is pretty good. It was a pretty, you know, not exponentially quick, but it means you can put some hours in there before, you know, you're really getting up there. And uh, I really enjoyed the perk system. Uh, it was it was nice. Uh, I I enjoyed the touch. And to be honest, I thought the perk packs were going to be like really annoying and give you you know overpowered perks and stuff because they give you these gold perk cards. But I found out that you just end up getting the gold perk cards down the road as soon as you level. So it's just a way to get the perk cards earlier. And then most likely you're just going to have to wait to get to that level anyway and to, to use the card because that's what I had to do as well um, so they're pretty good and the perk packs they I got a couple of them throughout playing and they gave me a couple perks and I used some of them but again it wasn't really like the most important thing and didn't seem like it was gonna like break you know the game or give anyone a huge advantage maybe it would give people a little bit in the beginning because everyone would be able to put a perk in one of their slots but it's again nothing too huge and I did really enjoy the system and how you can level up the perk cards. Um, so it kind of lets you build out your character a little bit, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then the other thing is the base building and we weapon customization in the game. And just like Fallout 4, it was really great. Uh, the base building was a ton of fun. You can make a lot of fun things. Unfortunately, I couldn't because you need to be able to get the blueprints and go through the game and stuff to be able to get these better objects in it. And I didn't quite... Uh, get to put enough time in there yet, but hopefully I will soon and they seemed really cool But what I got to build was just like a small little house and really wasn't anything too great But I got my little like workbench in there cook station and like a chair and it was just it was a ton of fun really cool and um, Back to the weapon and armor customization that is awesome as always being able to take you know Just a plain old weapon and keep it as basically your trusty sidekick is great. Uh, you can put like spiked edges on the machete and uh, there's literally tons of things out there that you could do your their weapons and you can find bl blueprints throughout the map to get better weapon customizations, which is awesome. And I believe through the perk cards too, you get even more um, like upgrades for your weapons and stuff like that. And it goes on everything from melee weapons to guns to the armor in the game. So it's pretty great. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and I thought it's a really cool addition to the game, as always. Um, so, besides from the base building and weapon customization, uh, there was a lot of things that really did need work, though, about the game. And I'm really not going to go into this too much, because I know a lot of people have already talked about this. It's like all over the internet that people are so angry and hate 
Fallout. Uh, at least that's what I've seen from my point of the internet. I don't know, maybe you guys following a couple different people and they have a little bit of a different opinion than the people that I follow. But, you know, it does need to work. It's a beta, but some things that, you know, doesn't seem like it'll get quite fixed by the time the beta. Um, I mean, a big, big thing was the NPC thing. So I, I thought it was a very interesting idea in the first place that they were going with no NPCs. And to be honest, I really wasn't a fan. I It makes the game feel a lot more lonely. There's no one there. At, you know, you have the other players in the game, but it doesn't feel... Like, when you played a Fallout and you went to a town, there was a ton of people. It was, like, booming with people, and it was great. And there was a lot of people to go interact with, talk to, and all these things to do. But now you go to a town, and you go and find, like, a computer terminal to go talk to. You go find a holotape, you listen to it, you find a dead person on the floor, and you just go listen to this long-ass holotape, and it's kind of annoying. Um, And I know that's pretty much what everyone has said on the internet, but that's, like, the only thing that I will really back up and say that i agree with um i think it's just that it needs it needs its npcs like it would be great i mean they already have the the robots in the game that talk and they do it you know they're not really that prominent but they're there those are npcs you know you know they might not be people but there's already npcs you might as well just add people and add the npcs and i think it would just make the game a lot more enjoyable in general um I know it, it changes a lot about the game, but it it would be good. I think it would be a great change. And obviously, another thing that I really don't like, too, is the hollow tapes. Um, a lot of people have said that. It's just basically, it's really annoying to just be like, oh, go find this person. And then it's just like, well, they're going to be dead in the room. I mean, I've said that multiple times where I'm like walking in and it's like, oh, well, this person's going to be dead. And there's the hollow tapes in there next to them on the floor. So that's my really two cents of things that really need work. Um, a lot of people said things about the water texture. Uh, it was awful. Yes, uh, the water texture was white in certain places, but it is a beta. So again, I'm just, you know, that will be things that will for sure be changed by the end of the game. It's because we're probably playing a much later release than what's even they have now so you know those little minor things obviously i'm expecting to be changed i mean then you're not going to release a game with just white water on the ground that's why you know people report that and hopefully those things will get nice and patched up but they probably already are on their version of the game so overall i really did enjoy this fallout 76 beta and i really am excited to be playing it as soon as it comes out i mean i've got two more days left of this beta to play since i'm recording this and i'm super excited i'm gonna probably stream and grind the shit out of those two days so uh, maybe i'll have a little bit more to note in that and i might wait to upload the video who knows but um, the beta was really great and I'm excited for its launch. Um, you'll be seeing some content on this channel and definitely come check out, check out the Twitch streams because I will be streaming it for sure. Um, but that was basically my opinion of Fallout 76. It's a great game. I think it's worth the buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.